I, I gave everything I had, two to three hours a day with weights, taking all the drugs necessary, and I did nothing else but bodybuild. And not winning, it just killed me. That was another time in my life. I believed a lot more in another idea that today I don't believe in. Is the Olympia the apex of our sport? Still is. You can be a great YouTuber, you're not gonna be Mr. Olympia. But do you need Olympia to be successful in the fitness atmosphere? No, you don't. I never did YouTube to make money. That was never my plan. And then when the money started coming, I'm like, I used to be that kid that would look up to like Schwarzenegger and pumping iron and stuff. And now I feel like I'd switched. I've become a role model for hundreds of thousands of fans around the world. How did you feel when you finally won the title? It was pretty much everything I ever was working for for the last 10 years. I don't know why I'm crying. We're the core of the sport, so for them to take bodybuilding out, you're taking the mother away from a child. My anabolic use, I like to tone it way down and be able to maintain my physique. The machine, by nature, starts to weed out the people that are on the ends of the bell curve. It's big business. No one's gonna say they're doing bad. Unless they close the doors. <laughs> no one's gonna say, oh, the business sucks. Not gonna happen. Every day, everyone in the Middle East. He said, Rami, you must be Mr. Londe. I said, Inshallah, I'm working for that. <laughs>